Hello, good afternoon, and this is Betsy Marinas from rockyourpower.com with Diamond Mamas. Today's video is about big ups and big downs. Um, when you're in business, when you're changing your life, when you're going for the big weight loss goal, there's going to be moments where you're going to go up and you're going to feel excited and you're going to have results and it's going to be awesome. And then there's going to be moments that it's going to be down. I can't have that cake. I didn't lose enough weight. My check was smaller. Uh, projects fell through. I'm late. They didn't like it. People are not happy. People are not cooperating. Drama. Dip. Dip. Woohoo! I won my first check. <laughs> Point is, there's going to be awesome, awesome moments and really crappy moments. And what's going to make the difference between you becoming successful and you just giving up and staying in the life that you are right now is... Realize that you need to keep showing up no matter what. And I mean this, look. If you're trying to lose weight, you go to the gym. You go to the walk. You read your articles. You change your diet. You go back to your salad. You go back to your shake. You take your supplements. Even if you failed, you do it again. Because that's how you keep showing up. When you're changing your life, when it comes to God... Um, you keep praying, you look up for inspirational reminders from texts in the Bible, you talk to people who will help you be uplifted, and you keep looking for ways to be fed spiritually with sermons. You just do. Because otherwise, you won't be able to lead yourself out of whatever you're in. Same with business. One of the biggest fail traps that people fall into when they get into network marketing especially is not attending events, not attending online webinars, not attending training, um, not interacting with everyone on their team. Um, my team, my, my wing girl, my pillar, Christy, she talked on that in another video that she did. Um, you know, we, we tend to think that other people need to reach out to us. I think even sometimes we overestimate our potential and our uh, determination and expect other people to cater to us and serve us and massage us into success when success is a personal journey. And so you who want the success, you need to reach out for it. And that's why we say leaders always show up and on time. Doesn't matter that you screwed up. You go again. You get up and you show up again. And that just keeps you going up. Um, I like something that I saw Joseph Prince talk about um, on a video. And he, talks about, he was talking about re repentance, but I think it applies in everything. Because he was using the word in Greek means changing your mind. That's what the word repentance means um, in that context. And um, I realized that sometimes... We don't realize how far-reaching that teaching really is because we don't just repent of um, sins against God, but we also sometimes fail ourselves, and this is also falling short of our own glory. And we also have to change our minds from that. Sorry, just saw some guys checking out my car. <laughs> to see them today on... July 30th, I saw two guys in a Nissan Tida checking out my car as they drove by. And I'm going to, hmm, <laughs> I'm going to keep an eye out for that. Um, in any case, so we fail ourselves and we need to change our minds and go right back into the fight to restore ourselves towards our goal, our vision, and in the case of worship, our God. Um, so I thought that was powerful because... It's totally not about you and what you accomplished. And this thing that we have in humanity about status, well, servant leaders are what we need. And servants leader, servant leader is what you need to be. So that means you might not have all the skills. I know I don't. All I know is that I know how to keep going forward and I'm going to keep learning. And if anybody wants to glean that from me and they're going to learn that from me, then that's how I've led them. Um, 
I'll let do God do the rest, and I'll let my process turn me into a leader that I should be. But I'm going to do the work, because it says you keep showing up. So you keep going where you need to be to get that spiritual enlightenment. You go where you need to be to get that training. You go where you need to be to get that energy to work towards your weight loss goal. So yeah, I'm bringing all three every time. It's business, health, and spirituality. Their three are intertwined, so they're important. So last thing I wanted to say, you need to stay super active. Even if you drop the ball, get right back on it. Um, I need to go back to the gym. I was moving, <laughs> vacationing. I did not go to the gym. I have to say though, I did burn fat a whole kilo and I did gain muscle mass because of my diet. So it's an integral approach. So you need to be doing things every day. So here's my tip to you. If you're thinking of starting a business, start by changing how you expect to be seen the moment you say, I'm a business owner. Do you want to be like, oh my God, you're so awesome. Or do you want people to go like, huh, good for you, keep going. You're gonna learn a lot. I choose a second because those people, they're gonna, they're gonna catapult me into keeping my, on my journey because being praised by others shouldn't be the goal of anything that you do. You don't do this for other people, you do it for your growth. And that was my tip for today, how to rock your power, become a diamond mama. If you wanna know more about the business that I'm in, that I'm super excited to share with people, just hit me up with a comment. Um, send me an email to bath at rockyourpower.com and we'll see you on the other side. I'm super excited to share with you that as of today, I know that my residual check is tripling and that might not sound like a big thing to you, but I know where it started. And basically, it grew 15-fold. <laughs> and that is an awesome development, and I just look forward to seeing that grow. And next time, I want to talk about residual income because many of you don't know what that is. And if you find out and you learn how to create it and use it to develop your financial stability and invest it, you, my friend, are going to be financially free. Have a great day. See you tomorrow. Bye.